Hey everybody. Well, I have something to talk about today. It's an interesting one. And it's conspiracy theories. Now I've done videos on conspiracy theories, particular theories before now. Some that I support, some that I don't. And, and I come to my conclusions through logic and actually seeing what real evidence is there. Etc, etc. And so I don't really like the term conspiracy theory because it's been popularised to basically mean crackpot, nutcase, you know, stupid things. And the reason that's happened is because, and it's the same reason that it's kind of pointless, this whole debate online about conspiracy theory. You know, you can find websites, you can find you know, YouTube videos with millions of comments and millions of views and, and people are liking and disliking dependent on if it fits in with what they'd like to believe. One of the problems is that anyone can have an opinion on this. Anyone. You know, you can't believe a comment, there's an opinion, which some people might say is as, as valid as anyone else's. But there's no background information on this person. There's no, you know, you don't know if they're a scientist, if they're religious, if, they're, if they have the reasonable reasoning skills, their intelligence, etc. Because there is a big difference between knowledge and intelligence. A complete fucking idiot could know so much and it all be wrong but he knows it all and following conspiracy theories and knowing awful lot about them you know all the information it's become very popular it's become quite trendy you might say so they always need a new theory i mean jesus christ the amount of theories that they come up with on a daily basis of how this that and the other happened jesus christ the people making up all the shit you know to put in history must really be busy but that's the problem, any one given thing, let's look at 9-11 for instance, I personally don't believe everything as was said it was. A lot of it doesn't make much sense. But I don't believe in everything I hear because I believe that something wasn't right. And when I say believe, of course I mean that's my opinion. It's no more valid than yours, it's just this is the opinion that I've come to. There is no opinion really in science because maybe that's the thing we want to prove 100% proof you know you watch videos that say this is 100% proof of x y and z happening and you watch a video and it's either misguided like just something completely different that they don't understand or or they're giving all this evidence that they can't prove there's no evidence to back it up you know like when darwin said you know animals evolve he had fucking evidence behind it to prove it look at all of these things even then people disbelieved him so if you think you can somehow retrospectively assume and be right about as to what happened with no evidence and that be 100% proof yeah, then your reasoning is not what we need in this sort of an area go and consider gardening okay so that's part of the problem anyone can have an opinion you know and and with any given situation, again, let's use 9-11 as an example, there are small conspiracies, you know, small details that people don't agree with. And then there's ones which just go into the stratosphere of idiocy. But of course, anyone can go and make a video and say what they think and give false information and, and leading stuff that doesn't have any evidence behind it. And people will believe it because it's a video on YouTube. This guy is because he's recorded himself talking absolute fucking shit it suddenly has more weight and precedence than someone else. And the truth of it is you need to know about that person's actual experience, knowledge, intelligence, that, that, who that person is and what they're about to understand whether their opinion is gonna be a good one to listen to or not. But again, it'll only be an opinion and if there's no evidence, then there's no evidence. Which is why all these trillions of letters being put together on the internet have no meaning because never have I watched a conspiracy video with actual factual evidence which I can follow and prove as good intentions as they may have and they would even probably pass a lie detector on the fact that they believe certain facts doesn't mean that those facts are correct there's no evidence to back it up in a lot of cases if there was it wouldn't be a theory it would be a fact so by definition, the theory is meaningless. <laughs> okay, so you can ball all of that into basically no evidence, misguided, 
knowledge doesn't mean you're right if you just know a lot about something. I mean, I can talk shit all day long, none of it's correct, and that might apply to this video. So yeah, you've got all of that balled into one thing, and then it is compounded again and again and again. And do you know how this happens? Because person A says something that they believe to be true using false evidence. Person B hears it. Person B can be a person who says, well, how the fuck do you prove that? That's bollocks. Or they can be a person who's like, yes! This is all fact! I know this! Okay, so that's your person B. Then person C hears from person B. Now, all of a sudden, person A is taken out of the equation and everything that the person B believes because of person A is turned into a solid fact. I know this because. So by this information passing through two people has turned it from one thing into suddenly like, like a book fact. Like it's, it's written there, it is the way it is. Now, imagine how many millions of times the stories are told, retold, the information is misremembered. It's Sunday, I'm on a supermoto and there is a mattress. I have to do it, don't I? Ugh. Oh dear. I've left some skid marks. You could liken what I'm saying to a tree. Okay, so you have the roots. And that is, there may be little facts and little strange things in what happened that, you know, cause people to question, and then maybe a right to question. So it all starts with the roots, and it gets into the core, the trunk of this belief and this knowledge and this evidence, which is based on things below which aren't quite as much as what they're making them out to be because of these Chinese whispers and, you know, people wanting to naturally ramp up a story. And then we get into the branches, which is like organisations and people saying, this, this, look at this, look at this, look at this. They then branches off into individual things, and then you have the leaves, the people. And they're all there believing everything that has come before. When if you actually look all the way down next to those roots, there was a big pile of shit the whole time. So it's spread itself and grown through itself and shit to the very top of the canopy with the leaves of people. And it's all there because of shit. As you can tell, I am quite the philosopher. <laughs> but I think you can see my point. I do believe there is a reason for conspiracy theories because there are things out there that are being covered up and we should question everything. And you should question everything because that's the way you get a scientific answer. It's not to find, and this is a lot of videos on the internet like as well, they try and find evidence to fit their theory. Real science tries to disprove their theory and it's only once you have used everything you can to disprove it, the only thing that's left is the truth. And if you start throwing that kind of uh, subjection onto conspiracy theories that people talk about on the internet, every single one of them falls apart in freaking seconds. Also very often on just sheer practicality of it. As I say, I am a believer in some conspiracies. I do believe we should question everything for that reason. So even if everything looks correct and you question everything and it comes out to be true, well then you know it was the truth. If you start finding problems, that's when things start unraveling and you find real conspiracies. But these days, the whole conspiracy word and everything that surrounds it equally needs as much digging and questioning as the things that they're questioning. The only way to actually seek the truth is to take evidence and then experiment and, you know, get to the right answer that way. No amount of talking, no amount of clever ideas that retrospectively fit mean anything. It's completely pointless and there are whole channels with millions of subscribers on people doing this stuff and everyone's like yeah yeah and that's adding to the this person suddenly has a million or two million people listen to this person suddenly they have more power because of that just because basically they can put things across in an entertaining manner or in a way that people are like oh, mind blown I think you can see what I'm saying here as much as we all might want to believe these things and as much as some of them may be true all of this debate on the internet, all this arguing between ourselves over it and different theories and different theories on theories, just means that what's actually left at the end is more unreliable than the thing that was said by the people in the first place. Nuts. Anyway, I'll catch you next time. One of the people that does that, I'm going to pick by random and I'm going to send you a gift for Christmas. And you might be saying, well, what gift are you going to send us? Well, don't expect a GoPro. I'm not making that much money.